Coming up on 5-Minute News. Hakeem Jeffries to replace Nancy Pelosi. US House panel gets Trump's tax returns after long legal battle. And record high temperatures see tornadoes wreck homes across the South. It's Thursday, December 1. I'm Santa Templeton. House Democrats ushered in a new generation of leaders on Wednesday, with US lawmaker Representative Hakeem Jeffries unanimously elected to be the first black American to head a major political party in Congress. It comes at a pivotal time as long-serving Speaker Nancy Pelosi and her team step aside next year. Showing rare party unity after their midterm election losses, the House Democrats moved seamlessly from one history-making leader to another, choosing the 52-year-old New Yorker who vowed to get things done in the new Congress, even after Republicans won control of the chamber. In a letter to colleagues, Jeffries gave a nod to the legendary figures before him. Pelosi, the first female speaker in US history, and her leadership team. He encouraged his fellow House members to embrace a once-in-a-generation opportunity to unleash their full potential as a team. Jeffries is joined by 59-year-old Representative Catherine Clark of Massachusetts as the Democratic Whip and 43-year-old Representative Pete Aguilla of California as caucus chairman. The Democratic unity stands in stark contrast with the upheaval among Republicans who are struggling to unite around GOP leader Kevin McCarthy as the new House Speaker as they prepare to take control when the new Congress convenes in January. While Democrats will be relegated to the House minority in the new year for the 118th Congress, they will have a certain amount of leverage because the Republican majority is expected to be so slim and McCarthy's hold on his party fragile. Jeffries said on Wednesday he will work with Republicans whenever possible, but we will also push back against extremism whenever necessary. A U.S. House of Representatives committee has obtained Donald Trump's tax returns following a years-long court fight with the Republican former president who accused the Democratic-led panel of being politically motivated. The Ways and Means Committee, which had been seeking Trump's tax returns spanning 2015 through 2020, will have little time to do its work, with Republicans poised to take the House majority in January. The committee said it needs the documents, which it obtained following a Supreme Court decision clearing the release, to establish whether the Internal Revenue Service is properly auditing presidential returns and whether new legislation is needed. Trump, who on November 15 began his third consecutive run for the presidency, fought the committee to avoid releasing the documents. He was the first president in four decades not to release his tax returns as he sought to keep secret the details of his wealth and the activities of his real estate company, the Trump Organization. It had been long customary, though not required, for major party presidential candidates to release their returns voluntarily. Tornadoes have killed two people in Alabama and damaged and destroyed numerous homes and businesses across a number of southern states. The National Weather Service had warned that strong twisters capable of carving up communities over long distances were possible as the storm front moved eastward from Texas. They were fueled by record high temperatures and threatened a stretch of the United States where more than 25 million people live. A total of 73 tornado warnings and 120 severe thunderstorm warnings were issued, said Matthew Elliott, a meteorologist at the Storm Prediction Centre in Norman, Oklahoma. It's a very vulnerable part of the country for tornadoes, especially after dark, he added. We all have to work together to get the best results on these types of events that could potentially lead to lots of devastation. 
Significant tornado damage was evident in the Flatwood community, north of Montgomery, Alabama, where two people were killed as a tree struck their home. Others in the tight-knit community narrowly escaped with their lives. Search and rescue teams would continue going door to door until everyone's accounted for, Montgomery County Sheriff Derek Cunningham said. Record high temperatures in Texas and Louisiana intensified the storm front before it moved into Mississippi and Alabama, forecasters said on Wednesday. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.